Thank you. Next is Leanne Caldwell. Was he in? Was Good evening. Um, I'm the Reverend Deacon Leanne Holbreth, representing Georgia Interfaith Power and Light, commonly known as GIPL, which is a statewide faith based environmental nonprofit. And while the organization is based in Atlanta, I live nearby in Tiffin, and I serve as the South Georgia Outreach Coordinator in addressing issues specific to South Georgia. Gipple equips communities of faith across the state to be better caretakers of our natural world. And as people of faith, we affirm our call to advocate for responsible stewardship of God's creation. Gipple supports all efforts to reduce threats from collapsed pollution across our state. We are here tonight to express deep concern about plans to release toxic wastewater from collapsed ponds into the Flint River. Because poorly regulated discharges could harm the health of people, the economy, and the ecosystems downstream. While we understand that dewatering is a necessary aspect of decommissioning plant mitchell and an important first step in removing toxic coal ash away from the Flint River to safer storage, we are concerned it will not be done with the strongest safeguards possible and with full public engagement. Water is life has become the rallying cry for the clean water movement nationwide, but it's more than just a clever hashtag. Water is life speaks to the deepest truth about water, that it is fundamental to all life, health, and livelihood. All major religions revere water as sacred, and in the Christian account of creation, water is the first element in existence on this planet. Water is indeed life, and whatever we do to water, locally and globally impacts the life and health of all living creatures, including humans. Toxic pollution of our water affects the most vulnerable humans, the unborn and children. Water stewardship is always an issue of health, and thus it is always a moral issue. As a moral issue related to public health, all affected by it deserve a meaningful opportunity for input. Therefore, we ask the following of the Environmental Protection Division. To prohibit discharge of any coal ash waste water into the Flint River until a dewatering permit is developed that assures the strongest possible protections from toxins present in coal ash, including arsenic and heavy metals. Engage the public in every step of the process of decommissioning coal ash ponds, including the development of the permit and discharge levels and then later the notification of the public downstream when wastewater is discharged. Especially involve agricultural and recreational users downstream through local news media outlets. Remember always that people live downstream, including children. Protect the health of the Flint River so that rural families may continue to swim, fish, and float the Flint and use its waters for their livelihood. Thank you. 